Hey you guys and welcome, this video is on the plugin Dodgeball. Basically you'll need World Edit for this to set up as well. So you select two points and this is how big your arena is going to be basically. So it has to be at least 10 by 10 for it to work. So I've set two positions. You do actually want to set it higher than that as you'll see in a minute because I've messed up. But basically the first command is DB. Then you want Auto Make. Then you want the two colours. So this is the two teams. So I've got red and blue. So this, this is the two colours of the hats that the players are going to wear. Then you've got the name of the arena. So IceDB is the default one on the website. But I'll just change it. Just get rid of the DB. Call it YouTube. 79 is a block ID. So you can change this because that's ice. So you can change it to wool or whatever you want the floor to be. So I'll change it to a type of wool. Then the next ID is another type of wool. This is for the walls, so you can change this if you want. I'll just change it to a different coloured wall. Then you've got 20 on the next one, which is glass. This is around the top, so you can change this to another block as well. It does work best with glass, so I would advise that. But you can set it to a block if you want. And then you've got 35, which is the black line down the middle. And then you've got 7, which I've set it to. So as you can see, it's been set too small because it's not a height of 10. So all I need to do now is make it a bit higher. But in a second you will see how easy it is to set up. It doesn't take a lot of setting up at all. So I'll just quickly build up quickly. Two, three, four, that'll do. Select that and then type in the same command as I just showed you. And as you can see it's auto created. It's got the walls, it's got the line down the middle and it's got the floor. So all I need to do is join the game really for it to work, but I can actually change these figures if I wanted to. But obviously these all relate to the colours. It would have been easier if I'd have shown you with different blocks rather than walls, but I've been a bit stupid. So that's the only command you need to set up the arena. So now the next step is to join it, so I'll just quickly show you a game of me and a few players messing about on it. So as you can see there's the two sides, you've got blue and red at the moment and you get block put on your head black line you can't pass in the middle so you do db join ice and that puts you into the game you can actually create signs for this and that's just bracket dodgeball bracket and then the next line with the arena name in brackets as well so i can just auto start the game so db start ice it will actually auto start itself if enough players join and the auto start is done on the size of the arena so a 10 by 10 block needs 12 players to auto start so that's 6 on each side so just quickly wait for the game to start 15 seconds, 10 seconds so then when we spawn in we'll be given snowballs so there you go, you can see we've got snowballs now so all you do is left, or right click sorry and wherever my snowball lands you can see it just sits on the floor for the other team to pick up and basically you get three lives which are indicated by the hearts and your health and every time you lose a life this will go down once your three lives are up you get teleported out and then you're in the spectator so all we've got to do is wait for him to throw snowballs back now basically so as you can see they're landed on our side so I can just walk over them and pick them up I will show you the black line in the middle if you try and walk too far over the black line it just pushes you back Oh, I can't get them though. But basic aim is just to knock all the enemy opponents out. Obviously it's lagging a bit because they're stuck in the middle. But you can see if I try and walk over it will push me back. But this is a really fun plugin. I'll definitely be having it on my server. Getting it to auto start. As you can see I can't get that snowball because it's too far on their side. This plugin will be updated soon. There are a few little bugs but it will be updated. I've spoken to the developer. And it sounds like he's got great plans for the future of the plugin. So I hope you guys will give it a test out and support the plugin. There'll be a download link in the description below. Any suggestions for him, just leave it on the bucket page. And as always, guys, please remember to rate, subscribe, and comment. Cheers.